Um, for the quiz, number one was 4 plus 3 times 4. All right, I want to just take a picture of these next time because I'm already overwriting all this out. <laughs> okay, so what do we do first? Parentheses, right? So that's 7 and times 4. I also don't love that it doesn't give me the dot multiplication option when I put these in. Yeah. All right. What do we do next? Multiplication, multiplication right? So we're going to do our 7 times 4 and our negative 1 6 times 36. So that gives us 28 and 6. So then you have 28 minus 6, and then you add 5. So your final answer should be 27. Oh my goodness. Well, I got one question that I better than all right, so feel free, like, on your work, like, if you need to adjust and, like, make corrections and write down how to do it the right way, do it. Right? This is for you to learn. Did you guys, did I tell you all to download the Desmos Scientific Calculator app? Okay. Yeah. Yeah, so we'll, I'll show you guys what that looks like because it makes it a lot easier. I just um, spoke yeah, because I don't like the iPhone calculators for this because it's so hard to put in stuff. I so. Used that app you said for the fractions. Yeah, because it, it's set up somewhat similar to that. At least the screen part is so you can see stuff better. Yeah. And it like puts things in fractions neatly for you. All right, so that was number one. All right, so you guys just get the picture of this one because I forgot to hit record, sorry. So number three, we're simplifying using our exponent properties. All right, so then the squared goes with the three and we multiply it here. So we have three squared times x to the eighth, right? But you need to actually work out that three squared and get a nine. Right. So that's your answer? Yeah, so 9x to the 8th is your answer. I feel like I got the next one wrong. I literally put beside it, like I worked it out, and then I put no idea. Like, that's what it says. <laughs> that's funny. All right, so questions on this one? All right, I think I only took off, like, one out of the seven points if you had the three squared. So, okay. So, 64 divided by 4 gives you a 16. So, our 16 is going to stay on top going to stay on top because that's where the bigger number is. So then we have um, k to the first divided by k squared. So you're going to do 1 minus 2, which is negative. negative 1. So I just do k. I'm just going to do them with the negative exponents and then I move them at the end. Okay, that's what that's I do. Okay, so then we're going to do m squared divided by m, which is m. And then there's no n to divide by. So into the fourth just stays. And then we have r to the fifth divided by r to the eighth. So 5 minus 8 is negative 3. But then now we need to take our negative ones and put them on the denominator. So we have 16m into the fourth over kr to the third. <laughs> All right, so one of these days I'll remember to start recording. Today's not that day. Um, so then you get 3x to the 4th minus x to the 3rd minus 23x minus 9 is your final answer. So we did pretty good with this part. It was this that people were messing up signs. So if you didn't change that 15 to an... If you didn't change the signs of these two then that would have messed up those last two parts. Also, we can't combine things together unless the exponents and the variables are exactly the same. So your x to the fourth is going to stay x to the fourth. Like nothing becomes x to the seventh or eighth or anything like that. It stays the same when we're adding and subtracting. Only when we're multiplying does that stuff change. So for number six, you had to use the distributive property first.
All right, so we had to multiply the 2 to all of this stuff. So we get 2w squared plus 6w plus 24. And then we've got to take our negative 4 and multiply it here. So it's easier if you take the negative 4 and multiply it because then all your signs are changed instead of just doing the 4 and then subtracting. So if you could just do it all in one step, it's easier. So negative 4 times w squared is minus 4w squared, and then minus 4w and plus 24. And then now we can combine our like terms. <coughs> Excuse me. So we get, we have 2 and negative 4, which is a negative 2w squared. Got to watch that negative. A lot of people left it off. And then we have 6 and negative 4, which is a positive 2. And then 24 and 24 gives you 48 at the end. So that's your final answer. I'll go by, by typically what's left on your paper. Okay. Um, yeah, that's why I like to go back through and check. So, yes, I will go. In. So, um, hopefully by this, I should have them by tomorrow. I'm going to finish them up this evening and have everything corrected. So, yes, um, that is a good question. Yeah, usually I try to see because I know sometimes typing stuff in, you miss something occasionally or you struggle. <laughs> Right, but I mean, if you guys can, please like try your best to like double check your answers. Like, I don't care how much time you spend on it. Like, I'm not that worried about it. So don't let that freak you out. It's fine. It's all good. That also kind of lets me know like how confident you guys are feeling with it. So, right, so we're gonna do z times 2z, which is 2z squared. All right, so that's our first. Outside is plus 3z. Inside is minus 8z. And last is negative 4 times 3 is negative 12. So then we can combine 3 and negative 8, which gives us a negative 5z in the middle. Okay, so we're going to take x squared. Oh, nope. There we go. And we're going to multiply it to each one of these. So x squared times negative x squared is negative x to the fourth. x squared times negative 10x is negative 10x to the third. And x squared times 12 is 12x squared. All right, then we're going to take negative 2x, and we are also going to multiply it. So then we have negative 2x times negative x squared is positive 2x to the third. Negative 2x times negative 10x is positive 20x squared. And negative 2x times 12 is negative 24x. I don't want to make it too small, but I want to try and keep it all on one line. Let's use purple. All right, then we're going to take negative 7 and multiply it to each one of these. So negative 7 times negative x squared is positive 7x squared. Negative 7 times negative 10 is a positive 70x. And then 7 and 12, right, 84. And it's negative. I'm still out of room. It's going down there. Okay, so now we get to combine like terms. Right, so I always start with my biggest power and kind of work my way down. So, we don't have any other x to the fourths, right? That's the only one. So, we've got negative x to the fourth. And especially for really long ones like this, I cross them out after I put them in my new one. That way I don't get lost. All right, so then x to the third. So, we have a negative 10, a positive 2, and that's all. So negative 10 plus 2 is 
negative 8, x to the third. Again, variables and exponents stay the same at this point. Right? They change when we multiply, but once we multiply that first time, when we're combining like terms, our exponents stay the same. All right, then x squared. So we have a 12 and a 20 and a 7. So 20, 12, 7 gives us 39 x squared. And then we have um, negative 24x and negative 70x. So that's going to give us 46. And then we just bring down our negative 84 because there's nothing else with it either. And then that's it. So that was a long one. Um, number 9 was 20x squared minus 52xz plus 32z squared. So then number 11 is 16v to the 12th, w to the 9th plus. So this one's like the first one, the first division one that we did. You just have to take each individual piece and divide it by the bottom. So 16 divided by 2 is 8. And then b to the 12th divided by b to the 5th. So you're doing 12 minus 7. Or 12 minus 5 is 7. Get ahead of myself. And then for the w's, you have 9 minus 3, which is 6. Then for the next part, you've got 14 divided by 2, which is 7. And then you have v, w to the 5th. Because 6 minus 5 is 1, 8 minus 3 is 5. And then you have negative 8 divided by 2 is a minus 4. And then the v's are going to cancel there. And then you have a w to the 4th on the end. Let's do some long division. Mm -hmm. we, why are we groaning? We love long division. We always got stuff on the end. Like, I didn't know what to do. Like Alright, so let's talk through it. So 6x to the third divided by x is 6x squared. Then we take 6x squared and multiply it by x plus 3. So we get 6x to the third plus 3x squared. And then we subtract. Do you not multiply okay. by the whole thing? Yeah, so that's the part that a lot of people mess up on. You have, once you, you only divide by the first part, but then when you go back to multiply, you have to multiply by this whole thing. So what, wait, why, so why is it, so why is it wait, would it not be 18? Oh, because, yes. <laughs> that's what I meant the whole time. <laughs> yes, 18. Sorry, I was thinking, I don't know what I was thinking. All right, so now we're subtracting. Right, so those cancel out. If they don't cancel out, you've divided wrong or multiplied wrong or you've done something wrong. So those two have to cancel. And then you have 19 minus 18. You've got to pay attention to that minus sign. So does the sign in it mean like that that is a positive 18? Yes. Okay. Yeah. What if it's like the subtracting polynomials where you change all the signs in there. If it was a negative 18, would you change? Adding. Yes. Oh, oh, that, I'm <laughs> <laughs> so that's a one x squared. All right. Since the bell rang, we will pick up here tomorrow. Is there a remainder on thirteen?